I mean, I guess he or she will probably be okay. I mean, look at us. After my parents split, they, uh, they had one bizarre marriage after another. Hmm. You lost your mom and barely saw your dad. You turned out okay, right? Well, you did. Lizzie. No, oh, it... A baby doesn't need its parents to be together. It just needs to know that it's loved. Coop? You know what? I gotta make a phone call. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. to hang out tonight, but, uh, I, I'm gonna have to bail on them, um, something's come up, <sighs> look, I'm really sorry about this, I, um, you know what, we'll talk later, bye. Date of conception. Hey, Coop's baby. Why do you have to be Jonathan's? I think it's really cool the way you're standing by Lizzie. I mean, I know you never expected to find yourself in this situation, especially with a girl you're not even involved with anymore. I, well, no, I am involved with Lizzie. I mean, we're connected for life now. I know. And that, that must be overwhelming. But... From a girl who grew up without a father and, and watched my mom struggle to raise me all by herself, I know how much this will mean to Lizzie and her baby that, that you're going to be in their lives. It's just, everything's changed. I mean, everything. A few weeks back, I mean, I was all set, ready to go to Oxford. Everything was going really, really well with Ava and me, and now it's like, now it's like I'm this new guy. I mean, this, 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 this guy with all these new problems and, and... So? What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking I can't be two people at once. And I'm thinking that something's got to give here. I have to face facts. I have to make a choice. <sighs> 